Hi everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, Analytics Advocate at Google, and today I'm joined by Dan Stone, who's a Product Manager on Google Analytics 360. Today, Dan is going to show us how to segment your data. Segmentation is a very powerful tool to help you get more out of your analysis and out of your data. Um, and so with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Dan, and he's going to show you how. Thanks, Krista. So segmentation can mean uh, different things to different users. Uh, in most analytics reports, there are multiple ways that you can apply segments to your data. Uh, and in most cases, it can be retroactive, too. So at the top of almost every report is the segmentation interface. And you can just click on this, and this pulls up the segment builder. You can apply up to four segments at the same time. Uh, this has a bunch of uh, predefined system segments. You can create your own. There are shared segments, uh, and there are starred segments. So this is one way that you can apply a segment on your data. The other two ways involve applying a filter directly in the table, where you click this advanced, and this allows you to filter out rows that match a certain condition, say language containing, uh, you can segment for other things, and then this will update the table below. So that's the second way to apply a segment to your data. And the third way is right here in the secondary dimension picker, where you can choose another dimension to add to this table. So for example, I might choose medium. And now this is going to add medium and language combinations to this table to further segment. So these are the three main ways that you can segment your data in Google Analytics. That's great, Dan. Um, I love that we have three different ways to really get more out of our data in Google Analytics. Um, so there you go. There you can uh, understand different ways to segment your data.